My mother came to visit me and lived with me when I was dating my ex-boyfriend. To her, we were roommates, but we loved each other very, very deeply. Okay, so can I get some chicken with that? Uh, can I get, like, red meat? Huh? Ami left for Pakistan. She was crying and she was sad and in our village she had all the women come in. She started doing several Khatmul Quran. And I get a feeling, an instinctual feeling, that she did it so that my ex and I would break up. I was born in Islamabad, Pakistan. I live with my boyfriend in this city that I don't want to name. We're getting married in the next month, and I'm afraid for our lives if I was to come out. If my family tried to erase me or my voice, it's very easy for them to do that. My dad, if he demands something, like people will listen to him. I lived in, the, in his ex's house. Yeah, and so then we hit it off. And so then he moved out of there and moved into here. What has happened since Orlando is that I've become very vocal about who I am, what I stand for. I'm at a point in my life where I have to make a case for my existence. I've never had to do that. As a Muslim and as a queer person, I could have been Omar Mateen due to the parallels that exist between our identities becoming very bitter and, and frustrated due to what I would have had to suppress, what I did not end up suppressing. I do feel like he's a brother of mine who wasn't able to survive his fight for his independence as a person, as an individual, against the traditions and the norms and the expectations. And for that, for that I, my heart reaches out to Umar. For that, he's my brother. Omar, my brow is heavy for you. My heart is lost in the pit of my sour stomach, looking for yours. I keep searching your face, those features I've known so many times in so many men. For what, I don't know. Omar, how long has it been since you cried? Until yesterday, it had been almost a year since I did. Did that word torment you like it did me, Omar? I know the poison that you ate because I swallowed the same flavor. I feel your isolation. A victim of our own culture's wounded masculinity. We were born in wartime, dear, and you didn't survive it. I keep looking at your picture and asking, brother, why? Why? And I cry, I cry every time. And I call my tears a little revolution for you and for all the little boys like us. May we outlive the wounds of our fathers and learn to mourn the wounds of our mothers. May we heal.